So tell me how you got started. You started off as a public relations and marketing guy, right? Yeah, yeah. I was a marketing guy in tech, and and I made a very, I had a very nice career. And uh, one day I became a marketing director at a marketing services company. I worked there for about nine months and I realized it was a soul sucking job and I was absolutely miserable. <laughs> and I decided I, I ended up on the radio one day with Ryan Seacrest of all people in the studios in Burbank. And I thought this is the coolest thing ever. I was about 30 years old at the time. And so I said, you know what? I'm going to just forget my career. I'm going to become a radio DJ, which is beyond stupid for uh, many reasons. <laughs> Number one, you're never going to get that job. Number two, if you are lucky enough to actually make that happen, you will make no money doing it. And, um, and that's exactly what I did. I made the impossible a reality. I became a professional radio DJ, Chris King in the morning and was on the air for 10 years. And then I, um, uh, but then I'm also a, um, I, I was born and raised in Santa Monica. And so I'm not comfortable being broke. So being a radio <laughs> DJ was not going to work long term yeah. anymore. And I decided I had to get a grown up job. So I ended up working in the neuroscience institute of a hospital for a while hmm. and uh, where I got an accidental education in neurobiology. Uh, at the time, I was also going to school. I went back to school uh, doing a master's program in spiritual psychology. And um, and I kind of combined all this with, uh, you know, my own personal history of, of being a collegiate athlete and, and uh, you know, like I mentioned, you know, being a race car driver and so, um, mm -hmm. or trained to race cars anyway, and, uh, and built a company based on that um, because I had two options at the time. I, uh, it was either play it safe and learn, I don't know, commercial real estate or something, or go out on my own and build something that really meant something to me. And at the time, Harlan, I was broke, I was homeless, and I was living out of my car. Mm -hmm. And that's how I started this company.